Hi there, I'm Mark Johnson and uh, my company Artisan Restoration has just finished a little barn restoration project over by uh, Red Wing and we had to um, we had to take out part of the stone wall which it was um, actually collapsing and replaced it with uh, it was a poured concrete wall and in order to get the concrete inside the form we had to cut off the bottom um, 12 inches of the uh, old barn siding and, um, and uh, the guys didn't have quite enough material to finish it so they left me with the um, with the finish uh, work here the um, we had to do uh, we had to do a number of structural things. That, that corner there was rotted at the bottom, and so we had to replace that. And then we put a metal strap there too. Um, let's look at the stuff we did inside. There were a number of braces that fell out, and uh, we. We uh, replaced all those except for this one right here by the door. Um, they're called, these angle braces here are called knee braces. And um, uh, like I said, a number of those fell out. And then we put another brace um, right above that knee brace going up to the, um, what I call the midroof support post um, to uh, help uh, Brace it, of course, and then we also put a series of cables from each one of those support posts from one side of the building to the other, and with the help of uh, those cables and some threaded rods, we were able to draw the, the two posts together because the ridge had a really bad uh, sag in it. And um, by tightening up those cables that way, we were able to um, get the sag out of the roof. And then we also did some work over here on this side here. That that's, that sagging in the roof uh, basically put a lot of pressure, outward pressure, on this wall. And this post here split in half. And we put a brace on it to try and draw it together. But it didn't quite... Uh, come back to where it was supposed to be so I'm gonna try and tighten that up a little bit more see if I can get that straightened out and then uh, the other bracing that we did was this uh, wind brace here I call it to um, help brace the end wall of the building um, as there are two splices in the six by six cross beam and that kind of Works real good as far as um, oh, oh, providing strength when it's in tension. But when there's sideways pressure on it or lateral pressure, as the engineers call it, then it's not so good. So anyway, this um, brace uh, here is basically um, kind of copied from the one on the opposite end of the building, which still is um, doing its job. But I don't know, this one here was either removed or it fell out or, or something, so we had to replace that. But um, that's the that's it for the, the structural work inside. Some of the upper knee braces from the midroof support posts um, to the six by six on each side of it were um, missing, so we replaced those. And you can see when we did the cables up there, I added a two by six at the back side of the post to make sure that when we tensioned it, it didn't come loose from the beam above it. So anyhow, that's the end of our work here and I gotta put in some braces and um, finish up the job, like always.